hello everyone welcome to this video uh, we already uh, discuss about the first lecture about in the first lecture we discuss about the drag delta function and with some its property in lecture 2 we solve some uh, problem asked in the electrostatic magnetism book by written by the vasudev ghosh in the problem set 1 or exercise 1 we solve 10 question uh, and in this lecture that is the part 2 and we continue once to solve the further problem uh, question number 11 to 20 right another 10 question we wants to discuss here right so let's start with question first question says that consider a long cylinder of with a charge density propor proportional to the distance from the axis is written here that means if this is a cylinder and its charge density is varies with distance from this axis like that using gauss law find the electric field at any point inside the cylinder you need to use gauss theorem and wants to find the electric field inside within this cylinder so from gauss theorem you know e dot ds equal to q n closed by epsilon naught so in this surface they are in these two plane surface the electric field and uh, surface are perpendicular so the for this plane surface this is 0 only in the curved surface this will be 2 pi r l 2 pi r and this is taken as l so 2 pi r l and within this region the charge will be rho dv rho is k r and dv in the cylindrical coordinate system r d phi d r d z okay now the uh, uh, limit of the r change from limit of the r uh, change from 0 to r and limit of the phi change from 0 to 2 pi and limit of the z is 0 to l just put this limit you will be get this expression and finally you will got this answer okay go to the next one a spherical cell of inner radius a outer radius b spherical cell inner radius a outer radius b with charge distribution a plus b r within that region so uh, within this uh, region that is within that region you have uh, you have the charge density within inner region uh, within that region okay there is a charge distribution varies like that and you need to find out the expression of electric field within that region r less than a r a to b and r greater than b that is region less than m that is this region that region and that region you need to find out uh, the electric field within these three region right within these three region this is region one this is region two and this is region three you need to find out electric field in this three region so for less r less than a within that region you need to take a spherical cell so this will be 4 pi r square but the charge enclosed within that region is zero that's why the electric field also zero next in the within that region if you take a spherical cell so this is 4 pi r square and charge enclosed will be rho dv and the limit will be a to r the limit will be a to r and finally if you integrate you will be get the answer like that and when you take the region 3 then the limit will be of the charge limit will be a to b right uh, for that case the charge will be a to r but in that case the charge will be a to b so if you put a to b you will be get this expression of the electric field and the vector if you write in the vector form this will be in on the uh, direction of r cap right that is why this uh, in the vector form this will be taken written in the Okay. go to the next one consider two spare each of radius a carrying a uniform charge density plus sigma and minus sigma this is a two spare a and b and uh, you need to spare so that there is partially overlap so the electric field with inside the region of overlap is uniform that means the electric field within that region will be uniform so you know if there is a a and the electric field within that region will be uh, rho uh, r by 3 epsilon naught okay 
so at any point p this distance will be x and this uh, distance will be d minus x so the total electric field you will be get like that and uh, you can see here this d is the separation between these two uh, spare so this will be constant or uniform so in this region the overlap region the electric field will be constant go to the next one an electric field intensity is given as find the corresponding potential so you know e and potential is uh, related like that e equals to minus grad phi phi is the potential so if you put e and phi in this form and compare the i cap j cap uh, so you will be get phi equal to minus x y c1 phi equal to minus x y c2 so in common form you can write phi equal to minus x1 x y plus c and if you put this uh, condition that phi equal to 0 at x equal to 0 y equal to 0 if you put this condition you will be get c equal to 0 so finally you will be get phi equal to minus x y go to the next one calculate electric field on the surface on the surface assuming the nucleus of the sphere of radius is so by gauss theorem you can say e into 4 pi r square equal to charge enclosed by epsilon naught uh, so e equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square right so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power 9 and there is charge is 92 proton so 92 and charge of single proton is 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 and the distance r is 7 femtometer so 7 into 10 to the power minus 5 15 whole square so if you calculate you will be get easily this answer go to the next one the uniform charge infinite plane of the charge density plus sigma and minus sigma this is to plate uh, plane with the charge plus sigma and minus sigma uh, intersect with the other find the electric field at any point and sketch the field lines okay so you need to find out the electric field at any point so here you can see uh, in that region the electric field for plus is uh, outward and for minus is inward so resultant electric field will like that and the field uh, value of this electric field is sigma y 2 epsilon naught similarly value of uh, electric field 2 is sigma y epsilon naught so if you just add it vectorically you will be get this answer in the uh, similar preparation if you consider this region for this positive this is outward and for this negative this is inward so resultant will be like that in that region this positive will be out uh, sorry for negative is inward and for this positive will be outward so resultant will be like that in this trad region the for positive is outward and for this negative is inward so finally resultant will be. so you can see here this resultant like that this resultant like that this resultant like that and this resultant like that so these are the field lines and the corresponding value will be like that go to the next one the electric field at any point is given here find the charge density so gauss theorem says divergence of e equal to rho by epsilon naught so rho equal to epsilon naught into divergence of e divergence of e just uh, value of this is three epsilon naught so if you put the value of epsilon naught you will be get this answer go to the next one a point charge q keeps at the center of a q uh, uh, calculate the electric flux through one phase of the q so if there is a charge within this q then the total flux will be q by epsilon naught according to the gauss theorem right so there is due to symmetry you can say that uh, flux through every uh, surface will be equal that's why for uh, flux for one surface will be one sixth of this next question a point charge q located at the corner of a q so that the electric flux due to q through the three phases will be like that so if you take this charge as a corner so you uh, can uh, say that there is three surface the electric field will be zero because they are the electric field and the uh, uh, surface are perpendicular right so this surface so which are connected this charge will be zero and the another three surface there will be present of the flux right now you need to if you wants to find out the flux you can take this as a center such that you need to put some identical q in the seven identical q such that this is in uh, in the middle point right so for that the total flux will be q uh, by epsilon naught along this uh, portion this is one sixth because this is a six surface and uh, along that the uh, a shingle is one fourth of that and there is three surface where the charge will be uh, flux will be uh, through 
so after calculating you will be get this answer go to the next one the electric field potential is given here uh, find the electric field so the electric field and potential is related like that equals to minus grad phi so if you put this grad and phi and if you derivative del del x of this so a is a constant and uh, minus half and this is 3 by 2 and with respect to x this is 2x similarly this is y and this is z if you take common you will be get this answer go to the next one consider a point charge q placed on the axis of a circular area of a at a distance 3 a by 4 so that the flux through this area is this so there is a charge and in this area you need to find out the flux okay for that you can take a strip of uh, area 2 pi r into dr and along this the electric field will be along its dot product so electric field will be 1 by 4 pi so not q by distance square which is distance is like that and the area is 2 pi r into dr into this cos theta cos theta is base by hypotenuse this term is cos theta term the uh, sorry this is the this term is cos theta cos theta okay and this is electric field this is electric field and this is the ds area area ds okay so after rearranging them and if you integrate it for that you can take this uh, substitution that r square plus 19 uh, 9 square by 16 equal to z square and change this limit you will be get this formation and finally will we get this answer q y i s okay so uh, take this calculation yourself if there is any problem or any doubt you must comment in the comment box okay and this is all about me and this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get others videos like that so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you